Welcome to the adventures of Chris and Mike. In this episode, we feature mountain goats and sheep. Coming out of Red Lodge, as we were climbing up the windy road to the top of the mountain, I told Chris about my strange experience that happened years ago. I was sitting, watching five mountain goats. They were scaling the treacherous mountainside, when from behind, an old man came up to me and said, What are you looking at? I said, mountain goats. He said, did you know that mountain goats are magical and that they can disappear? I said, sure, sarcastically. He said, look again and tell me what you see. I looked through the binoculars again and I couldn't find them. I looked all over the mountainside, but they were nowhere to be found. I was amazed. I turned to say something to the old man and he was gone. He was nowhere to be found too. I looked over the barren landscape for him. It seemed he had disappeared also, and so began my enchantment with mountain goats. In 1985, Arnie Tomke, Bosmastorp, and I took a trip to Glacier National Park. We drove up to Logan Pass, and when we got up there, the day was really hot in the high 90s. But it was my first time I got to see mountain goats up close. The heat really got to us, so we decided to take a swim in the icy lake. Wow, it was refreshing. We had a great campsite on Two Medicine Lake, and we had a wonderful time at Glacier. We did a lot of hiking, and the scenery was awesome. I love scaling this log across this fast-moving stream. It was a great trip and my first close-up experience with mountain goats. And here, I ran into a hoary marmot. In 2018, Chris and I returned to Glacier National Park with Ken and Nina and the grandchildren, Jake and Tyler. Outside the visitor center, we had a fun time watching the ground squirrels. After watching the ground squirrels for a while, we began our hike to Hidden Lake. Even though it was warm, there was quite a bit of snow on the trail, a lot different than 1985. The trail was quite crowded with visitors, a lot different again from 1985. I looked up the mountainside and spotted my first mountain goat. Hiking the snow-covered trail became quite a challenge. As the mountain goat looked on, we finally made the Hidden Lake Overlook. As we made our way back to the visitor center, we had to watch our step down the slippery slope. Then, to my amazement, the mountain goats decided to show themselves up close. What a thrill it was to see the young mountain goats.
In 2019, Chris and I took a trip to the Canadian Rockies. We drove the Ice Fields Parkway on our way from Banff to Jasper. We found a great campsite below Mount Kirkeslin. We were hoping to see mountain goats at the Kirkeslin Goat Lick. We had breakfast at a picnic area across from the Goat Lick, but there was no goats to be found in the morning. When we returned in the afternoon, we hit the jackpot.